This is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on ticker MULN or Mullen Automotive. So this thing had a massive sell-off as soon as the market closed yesterday. And I was looking around. I didn't really see any new SEC filings. I didn't see any new press releases or news stories from the company. Um, so my guess was the massive dump was because this thing closed below the $1 mark. They had several days where they were able to meet that minimum bid price requirement of $1 um, to stay on NASDAQ. So I think they had like three days in a row that they were able to do that. And then yesterday they were not able to do that. So they have to reset. If they can get back to a dollar, they have to do 10 trading days um, with that minimum bid price of at least a dollar um, to remain listed on NASDAQ. Um, so they only have until September 5th. So just kind of looking at the calendar here, um, you know, if you're going to go back 10 days, you've got what, 7, 8, 9, 10. They only have until the 23rd to get it together and to really have that 10 day stretch, at least 10 day stretch to stay on NASDAQ. So they're really running out of time here. Um, and that close below the $1 mark was definitely not a good sign. Um, so they're trading right, right now around 97 cents here in pre-market. Um, so Mullen put out a press release um, saying that they're going to do everything they can do uh, to make sure they meet this minimum bid price requirement for NASDAQ. So right here, released uh, today, it says that the company is starting the $25 million stock buyback program with the repurchase of 3.7 million shares of common stock. And this actually started yesterday, and this is going to continue through December 31st, 2023. Um, for an aggregate of 3.6 million. So it says David, the CEO and chairman of Molin, also purchased 102,000 shares in the open market on August 16th at a price of 98 cents per share. The company is committed to taking all available measures to regain compliance with NASDAQ and the minimum $1 bid price requirement. They also talk about here um, that they only have until September 5th. So if they do not get this at least 10 day stretch in here before September 5th, they are going to be delisted. Um, David also says, we believe that our stock is undervalued. The company has begun production of class three EV with deliveries pending to customers and a strong balance sheet, allowing us to execute on our business plan. I think that's kind of funny, a strong balance sheet. I mean, their financials are like complete trash. I mean, <laughs> they just reported uh, earnings or financial performance and they lost $11 per share. So, I mean, they might have some bright future if they actually start to sell a lot of these vehicles and deliver a lot of these vehicles, but a strong balance sheet is not something that uh, Mullen Automotive understands or <laughs> not something that they possess. Um, if they did, they wouldn't be on the verge of getting delisted from NASDAQ. But um, yeah, so we'll kind of see what happens. They said they're gonna do everything they can do. They're gonna start buying back, well, they already have started buying back stock. Um, so if we look at the chart, it came as low as 81 cents. So it was like a massive sell off and then the buying started to come in. And now you can see we're up around that 97 cent mark here uh, in pre-market today. So we'll kind of see if this stock buyback pro program is going to be enough to elevate them above that $1 mark or at least back to that $1 mark for 10 business days or 10 trading days. And let's see if they can actually make that September 5th deadline. So I'll continue to keep you updated on ticker MULN or Mullen Automotive. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.